Welcome to our YouTube channel Experience Tutor. Today we'll discuss Class 11th Physics, System of Particles and Rotational Motion, Chapter 7, NCERT Solution, Part 12. Before we start, we request you to subscribe, like and share our YouTube channel among your friends and relatives if you have still not done. Please click on the subscribe button to support us and also click on the bell icon to get automatic notification whenever any video is uploaded by us and please like our videos. Your like matters. Today we'll start with question number 7.31. A cylinder of mass 10 kg and radius 15 centimeter is rolling perfectly on a plane inclined inclination 30 degree the coefficient of static friction mu s is equal to 0.25 a how much is the force of friction acting on the cylinder b what is the work done against the friction during the rolling so in the first part a we have to find how much force of friction force of friction we have to find uh, in part b we have to find work done against friction during rolling and part c if the inclination theta of the plane is increased what value of theta does the cylinder begin to skid not Roll perfectly. Okay, these are the three questions. Let us see the solution. So, question number 7.31. Now, steps. So, first step is summary. So, I am not writing step one, step two, and all. Summary. In the summary, we'll write all the given values of the sum. So, mass of the cylinder M is equal to 10 kg radius of the cylinder r is equal to 15 centimeter 15 centimeter is not in si unit so we will convert it into a si unit that is 0.15 meter coefficient of coefficient of static friction mu s is equal to 0.25 angle of inclination Theta is equal to 30 degree. Now, next step. We have written everything which is given in the question. Next step, we'll draw a free body diagram. 
So this is the free body diagram. Here the inclination angle of inclination is 30 degree. Here this angle is 30 degree. Therefore this angle is 30 degree. Mg is acting vertically. The weight Mg is acting vertically downward, which can be drawn into two components. Uh, um, one is Mg cos theta and other is Mg sin theta. And the frictional force is acting this side against rolling of the cylinder. Now, uh, moment of inertia of the cylinder of inertia of the cylinder solid cylinder is equal to i i is equal to i is equal to half m r square now in the next step what we will do we will find the acceleration of the cylinder so acceleration of the cylinder cylinder how will do we do that so what will write A is equal to, we can write A is equal to Mg sin theta upon M plus I upon R square. So, mg sin theta is the component, mg sin theta is the horizontal component of the weight upon m plus i square, not q, this is i square. Now, We can write mg sin theta upon m plus half m r square upon r square which is equal to 2 upon 3 g sin 30 degree which is equal to 2 by 3 multiply by 9.8 multiply by 0.5 and 3.27 meter per second square now once acceleration is known we can find out the frictional force so we can write frictional force frictional force so from the free body diagram we can write F net net frictional force is equal to ma. So net frictional force, uh, if you see the diagram, it will be so mg sine 
30 degree is the horizontal component of weight which equates so um, but f is the friction force small f is acting in the opposite side so uh, the net force acting downward is equal to mg sin theta minus f and which is equal to the force force is equal to mass into expression that is ma so we'll write the same here f net is equal to ma so f net should be equal to f net is equal to mg sin 30 degree minus the friction force is equal to ma so f is equal to mg sin 30 degree minus ma now put the values 10 into 9.8 into sin 30 is 0.5 minus 10 into 3.27 we have just find out the value of a so upon solving it is 49 and this is 32.7 which is equal to 16.3 newton so we got the net value of frictional force now the last step of this sum so rolling without skid so this this part we have to find it out so uh, for this we have a relation mu is equal to 1 by 3 10 theta you have to remember this formula remember now 10 theta is equal to 3 mu which is equal to 3 multiplied by 0.25 which is equal to 0.75 therefore theta is equal to 10 inverse bracket 0.75 which is equal to 36.87 degree and this is the angle of theta now let us see the next sum now we will solve 7.32 each read each of the statement below carefully and state with reasons if it is true or false a during rolling the force of friction acts in the same direction as the direction of the motion of the center of mass of the body so let us solve this one first so part a uh, friction so i am writing the description so then later on i'll explain it friction Frictional force acts acts opposite to the direction of motion
of the center of mass of a body. Center of mass of a body. In the case of rolling the direction of motion of the center of mass of center of mass is backward hence frictional force acts in the forward direction direction therefore it is false part a is false now part b so let us see the question first Part B's question is the instantaneous speed of the point of contact during rolling is zero. Let us see the solution. Rolling can be considered as as the rotation of a body about an axis passing through the point of contact of the body with the ground. Hence, its instantaneous speed is zero. Therefore, our answer is true. Let us see part C. The question for part C is the instantaneous acceleration 
of the point of contact during rolling is zero. Let us see the solution. When a body is rolling, its instantaneous acceleration acceleration is not equal to zero. is not equal to zero. It has some value. Therefore, the statement is false. Now, let us see part D. Let us see the question. So the question for part D is for perfect rolling motion work done against friction is zero. Let us see the solution. When perfect rolling begins begins the financial uh, the the fr frictional force acting at the lowermost point becomes becomes zero hence the work done as the work done against friction is also zero. Is also zero. So the given statement is true. Now question number E, part E. Let us see the question. So last part, question number E is a wheel moving down a perfectly frictionless inclined plane with undergo slipping, not rolling motion. So let us see the solution. So, part E, uh, the solution is the rolling of a body occurs when a frictional force frictional force acts between the body
and the surface. The friction force The friction force provides the torque the torque necessary for rolling. in the absence of the friction force The body slips 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 and the body slips from the inclined plane. under the effect of its own weight. Of its own weight. So, the given statement is true. Now, let us do the next sum. Question number 30 is a proof which can be found in any of the basic NCRT books, NCRT book or any of the book. So we are not doing this. This is not a numerical sum or something um, very tough. You can do it on your own. Please subscribe, like and share our YouTube channel. If you have not subscribed yet, please Give us a like sign for this video. Please click on the bell icon so that you can get an automatic notification whenever a new video is uploaded by us. So that you should you will not miss any of our important video tutorials. Thank you very much for your time and for your supports.